Today's show is brought to you by ExpressVPN, one-click protection for all your devices. Securing yourself couldn't be easier, so just visit expressvpn.com slash funhouse. We don't look the same so. height. It goes Lindsay, you, and then me in terms of height. Anytime that I can be the smallest, I'll, I'll take that opportunity. Oh, I'm just a widow woo-woo. I'm just a widow woo-woo. And now it's time for a big woo-woo. Hit it! It's time for woo-woo. I'm ready on you. Let's give it up to those guys. Yeah, let's give it up for men. Yeah, in general. Yep. We've never done anything wrong, and we've been here for hundreds of years. I'd like to extend an apology for having majority women on this woo-woo. That was not (laughs) supposed to happen. (laughs) Anyway, it's time to look at comments sent by... You, you! You, you! This is from the Word of the Day, uh, our series. I think it's episode four. I made this thumbnail. You made this thumbnail. Yeah, This is a great one. I'm I'm wondering where Gandalf's finger was before that. Patrick's just telling you where it was. Uh, Patrick and Charlotte have peak sibling energy. I love seeing them in videos together. I guess, yeah, it feels like, you know, one of us is going to try to beat up the other one at any given point. Yeah. That's fair. You've had several meetings where they've asked you to stop beating up Patrick. The man's just begging for a noogie. Look at his eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) When he comes back to the studio, this is an event. When he comes back to the studio, I'm going to give him a swirly. I'm going to shove his head in the toilet. I don't think that's a sibling thing. I think that's a strangers at school. That's like yeah, a bully, yeah, bully no. thing. No, 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 no. You oh, guys are you siblings. You want to bully her brother. Yeah. Oh. You want to bully your brother. brother. That's nerd. Cool. That's cool. She's No, she's into it. I'm into she's it. She's no, good. Yeah, he deserves it. it. Yeah, nerd. Child, if you see this, I want you to know that your talking heads joke was a banger and it did not get the recognition it deserved. Let's play it. So you find I bet yourself this work. in a labyrinth. How do you escape? Uh, this isn't my beautiful house. Yeah. Trans- <laughs> <laughs> this is not my beautiful wife. Hang, Hang on, on a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was really good. It's a really good joke. Oh, and Perry, uh, respectively. And I, then, oh, Nick G says same Nick vibes. Nick G also liked it. Yeah, when I heard, yeah. same, same. Uh, when I first heard that song, I thought it was Robin Williams. This is not my beautiful wife. Who? Huh? That's me doing Patrick, Patrick doing Robin Williams. Williams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, ha, e, ooh, ooh, ha, e. e, e, I. Have you seen the uh, Kermit the Frog version of that song? This is not my beautiful wife. Watching the waves go by. Water passing under. You were in this one. Invest your future in Funhouse Crypto. Pollen Bucks, yeah. which I think would maybe be better as John Coin, but. I'd invest. <laughs> John Coin is very good. Yeah, I think that should be the name. I think so too. What about Doge Holland? I'm gonna give you a swirly too. <laughs> what does Mr. Logan say? Uh, That's not Mir Mr. Logan one says. I can't says, read it, it's too far. It literally has the first initial in a oh, huge bubble. I didn't look at it. Lindsay. We've talked about Near this. Logan says. <laughs> I think you're near Logan sighted. <laughs> I, <am. laughs> I think my neighbors could hear me laughing when the ghostly harmonica player started appearing. So I oh, don't know yeah. if this was an intentional effort on your part, but James uh, got to talking about finance stuff. I get some people not having a credit card. But if your life is together, you probably should have a credit card. I can't tip in the strip club with a credit card. You couldn't, you but you can now. Oh, really? Can you? pull that square reader right out of their ass so quick. <laughs> a square right. reader. And whether you were just focused on GTA or maybe you were just not interested, but your eyes had this glazed over. I think it just sort of happens to you when you're like in the front seat of like yeah. a, a G, especially GTA. You're in the front seat. You, the 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 bit the bits and the banter is going on behind you, and you're just trying to make sure that the gameplay keeps going. Yeah. Yes, there are things that you can invest in that are essentially investments in the economy at large, and you're basically covered. And yeah, the economy could crash. But you're back. Sometimes you just space out a little bit. Do you think I could convince James to do a podcast with me where we give actual financial advice? Yeah, you could do like one episode. We'll call it The Bear and the Bull. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's That's very good. Well, it's a bull market. Really? Because I think it's bullshit. Oh, shit. Ting, ting. 
Sam Murphy, HSV, can confirm Quiznos is superior to Subway. I live five minutes from both. I go to Quiznos for good food. I go to Subway to get a bad case of the runs. Okay, oh, wh that's, why, that's why? fun. Why not just go to Quiznos Jersey is my Mike's. question. Why get, yeah, why go to Subway at all? Why go to either of these? I was just about to say, Jersey Mike's, top tier. Is that other one? There's another really good sub place. Domino's. If you're getting subs at Domino's, we need to talk. This is very controversial. Big fan of Jimmy John's subs. Why Jeff. is that controversial? Because Jimmy John's as a company is dog shit. Their oh. owner and founder is dog shit. And as a former employee, just all around dog shit. Like, it's a terrible place to work. If you ever go to a Jimmy John's, uh, tip whoever takes your order and ever whoever makes your sandwich, but don't put it in the tip jar because the managers take that. Oh, God. Give them the money, the actual money. Also, Des, if you're watching this, Tell him Mondo sent you. <laughs> Get it Mondo's way. It's much better than getting it Jimmy's way, which is where they give you the sandwich and then kill an elephant. That's what they do <gasps> at Mike's. Jersey Mike's. Slasher 101. Wait a minute. Did Lindsay... Sorry. Had to yeah, I know. point Let's that out. Just reference Shmo Yoho, like in their prime. Holy love. Yes. The song where the lady goes, and I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. My daddy taught me good. Can you just look at it? I'm backing up, backing up. Oh, it's one of those auto-tune the news yeah. type deals. Okay, Shmo Yoho sounded to me like kind of like like a dumb band from yeah. like the early 2000s. No, Shmo like Yoho is the auto-tune the news yeah, yeah, people. Yeah. I hated this. The context actually makes it better because I'm like, whose daddy is teaching him to back it up? Why are we logged in as inside gaming? Yeah, why are you? Are you <laughs> Remember this? Huh? Police! <laughs> Remember? Oh my god! That's great. <laughs> Next I worked comment. there when it all came crashing Next down. Comment. I am owed this. Anyway, James Wilson is coming for you. Are you kidding me, Lindsay? You're not gonna watch the Cars franchise just because you lost in GTA? Okay, hang on, let me stop you and right then, there. Yeah, some nonsense. No, that's not the reason why I'm not gonna watch Cars. I'm not gonna watch Cars because f One of the first times I ever saw a joke in film that like stuck with me, and I mean like stuck with me forever, was from Cars, where uh, they're talking about the championship, and he goes, Doc's got six piston, piston cups. cups, and Mater goes, he did what in his cups? <laughs> it's not bad, it's, it's not, not bad, bad at all. Are you still going to the post office? Why go when there's stamps.com? There's no more need to spend your precious time dashing to the post office before they close, and there's definitely no need to pay full price for postage. Get the services of the USPS and UPS right in your own home and get discounts between 40 and 66%. Whether it's a personal letter or you're sending packages for your business, Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. You can use your computer to print official U.S. postage and then schedule a pickup or drop it off. Stamps.com saves you time and money. Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk and with our promo code OPENHOUSE, you can get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in open house. That's stamps.com, promo code open house, stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. Look at this sick banner. Whoa. Who is that? <laughs> ah! Sorry. That was a real scream out yeah, of you. Yeah, no. Monopoly Penny reprise for the Funhouse RTX panel. Perhaps perhaps for the last time, I do not know where I put the hat and eye patch. <laughs> I think they're somewhere around here. You know where you put the turtleneck? The turtleneck is at home, uh, and it was drenched in sweat. Oh, yeah. Because uh, it was hot in there. That's a Clive Tolne Classic original. Classic children's wow. game show. Clive Tolne. Nice, Clive. I got a question. Since turtlenecks exist, does that make every other sweater circumcised? No. If you cut off a turtle's head, would it be circumcised? Yeah. Is turtle like a... A dick reference type of thing? The turtleneck is the foreskin of the sweater. Yeah, but that's building off of sweaters. Sweaters don't build off of dicks. No, but foreskin does. Ooh, Cardboard look at king. this. This is killer from the gold pixel, and it is Patrick in our cardboard box of merch yeah. that people just started sitting on when merch we came king. back into the Pretty office. Cool. This is rad. Yes. Some King's Dilemma fan art of a, the King, Mono. Young King you know, Pickle. I just, just started watching You know, this. I just started watching The King's Dilemma. What do you think of it? Say I it just so. started watching it. Well, how far have you gotten? Two I seconds? I just started watching it. Do you like it, though? I just started watching it. He's got it up on the other monitor. You can't see. Do you like it? I just started watching it. This is, uh, at one point, the Baby King Pickle abdicates, and this is uh, Father Pickle, even though they're oh, all virgins. Uh, little discrepancy. 
Uh, so you got some motion blur on Young Pickle. Yeah. Very I love nice. the attention to detail from Sam Guy 909 Thanks, Sam Guy. Thanks, Sam Guy. Here's another gold pixel, another Rami. This time of John, John Holland. Holland. He looks great. Whoa, Look at I that. like how he's got like sort of a shining esque maze going on in his hair and beard. Yeah. This is the movie Armando is talking. <laughs> yeah, the mummy. This is so funny. <laughs> Because the picture is not at all changed. This is a reference to uh, a clip from The Scorpion King, yeah. right? Where you say, I thought Brendan Fraser was that guy from the show, Fraser, and Elise and Ryan die. People forget about how awesome The Mummy is. Brendan Fraser, right? Yeah. Everyone loves Brendan Fraser, and, and The Mummy is really fun Wait, and rewatchable, you... still holds up to this day. Scorpion King, not as much. Why'd you ask that like a question like you didn't know? I haven't exactly seen The Mummy or any of the subsequent movies that followed it. And I'm also not a fan of the yeah. You could all laugh. Up until recently, <laughs> I thought Brendan Fraser was the star of the show Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> I edited that video and I am a huge Fraser fan. Really? So, yeah. I can't get into it. There's some shows that are just like old white people being old white people. It's yeah. like Fraser, Gilmore Girls, like they all just kind of bleed together. This is not bleed with Gilmore well, Girls. Gilmore they Girls, she's same. like a 15 year old. What do you mean? Yeah, but then they just like, ugh, oh, I have all this money, but I can't ask for it because oh, I have a bad relationship with my mother. <laughs> you know a lot about Gilmore Girls. Yeah, it's because I've watched all of Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I haven't seen any of it. And every episode I went, God! Ugh! You should watch- Why did you watch all of Gilmore Girls? Because I dated an older white woman, oh. Lindsay. Well, what? Well, clearly your threshold for old is different than other people's, so we're gonna have to- She was very old. She was 34. <laughs> Ancient. She was dust. She was the mummy starring Fraser. Oh baby, I hear the scarabs calling. Can we end this video by listening to Dan's majestic laugh? Yes, we can. I watched this clip so many times. This is from a Gmod. <laughs> oh God, what happened there? Who did that? God damn it. <laughs> it's such a wet laugh at the beginning. It's like, no, he goes like, <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> the first oh, sounds like a horn. <laughs> <laughs> we love it, Dan. Never stop laughing. It's a classic laughing. laugh. It's oh so delightful. <laughs>